Oh yeah, I, 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 I didn't tell you this. Like, I have always in America, but it's not Sydney, Australia. You're in Sydney, Australia. Twenty. Twenty thirty-one. Oh, okay, Sydney. Yep, Australia. They always want to go to Australia. She will. Next. Okay, she could. She boss. Yeah, boy, I can wait to the song. So I feel alone. I just want this song to be over. 
I can't help that I feel so dead and inside. I don't want to feel this fucking pain no more. I'm so tired of feeling empty feet inside my show. Doing a lot just doesn't feel the shame no more. Maybe it's just time to clock out and let go. I promise you I'm trying to be the best I can. The more I try to love myself, the more I hate who I become. I honestly have no clue who the fuck I am. I wanna drink the pain away till I get drunk. I wanna get, get fucked up and drift away. And when the sun comes up, I won't awake. Let the alcohol run through my veins. I know this is my fault. I'm so ashamed. I don't wanna be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. I know that I'm damaged internally. I can no longer manage this misery. I don't want to wake up. And I'm afraid of being alive. I don't want to stay here. Just want to stay here. I know my brain's here. Yeah. Is all that I, I feel, feel since I felt the heat. Yo, this will remain. I can't explain pain. This awful pain. I just didn't know. Next. Next. Knock on the streets on my late night vibe. I run junkies out of town on the bay, fucking pipe. Lights off, mask off, nothing in the streets. Soft bass drum kicks in, heads fucking blown off. My first reaction is war, and this motherfucker fought a good fight. Didn't know that the knife was stuck in now, it's too late. And your body's getting cold shakes, though, that you're dying. That's a cruel fuck that twist of fate. Six, six, six on the clock as the world stops, the ground starts to shake, and the devil he beats off. He says, huh, devil, huh? Yeah, He's my boss. I'm a demon, and I know the devil. Finger blood drips on the face twice. It was my contract between me and Diane Both came back to life But my body is stayed cold Now I'm a heartless misunderstood bastard Gave me the skills so the rap for the master Lived for a while with a heart that was cold But I needed it back, yeah I needed my soul Pushed on the emulator beat just like that Then I screamed at that I know Jekyll, push my boss I'm the demon, bitch, back When he hits his gun and I'm dead and you're fucked Once I looked at the clouds and I saw the pearly gates And I saw my next face She said body in mature fate was 16 I can only show you something, okay? With a knife cut the cold air what the fuck are you? I told you. I'm a demon. I thought you're kidding. No, I'm not. I'm a fucking demon. With respect. I live. Uh, I lived many centuries. <laughs> Until the world got destroyed. Ah, my world got destroyed. Even heaven and hell. So that's why God and the devil had to team up and make a place called Arcadia. Where devil and God can put the angels and demons and you know half 
belong to the devil and half belong to God. If you are bad, you'll go on the devil's side. If you are good, you'll go on the God side. If you are If you commit suicide, then you go in middle until in in the void, pretty much, where there is torture over. You die, come back to life. Die, come back to life. Die, come back to life. And you remember your death over and over and over and over and over again. Trust me, the void is not a good place to be. I reckon hell is better than the void. Holy fuck. See what I mean? I'm the demon and no one can stop me. I'm going to transform into my human body. <laughs> Shit. You aren't you? You're not kidding. No, I'm not. See what I mean? I am not kidding whatsoever. So now you know. Hold him at time, but I told him at Dan. I picked up his horse, started stabbing the cat. The sky went green, and I saw the four horsemen proceed to attack. My dear, ready with caution, enjoy every breath. Cause life is important, I might have met the devil, but I never met the morgue man. I said I might have met the devil, but I never met the morgue man. I said I might have met the devil, but I never met the morgue man. human army or the military what the humans call, call oh, yeah. the military This one. Yeah, this was revolution in our time. Everybody's fighting, change, telling yes. That's why it's an acronym for riot. Everybody has a voice. Don't you dare say. I see cock bullying. Um, how do I say it as well? You know what? I'm gonna say it. If I see a cock picking on a black person. I'm gonna like kill the, the, the cops. Spread love, show love. Let's get rid of this curse. Don't wait for anyone to act. Man, you go first. Four hundred <laughs> years waiting. Let's get rid of this curse. Cause that's the only way we'll ever see peace on earth. <laughs> Come together, cut, citizens, and live around each foot of rest of everybody in humanity. Black, blue, white, green, 
coloring when we played in kindergarten and I called you my brother. Then we grew up and they taught us we should hate on each other even though we weren't in the same and we all came from our mothers. I hope y'all understand. Hate is not a trait. It was learned, man. Equality's the quality. Man. Punch him smart and then do this. Stop. Get the fuck out of my property. Go to hell, you piece of shit. I can't believe. Next. 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 Most prize. Next. Next. Next.
Next. Next. friend's hand on our podcast impulsive the number one podcast in the world sort of well just like most good ideas it started with a good idea six nine on impulsive oh, oh. hey you know what they say ask and you shall receive wait i'm sorry what the f- are you saying you're interviewing this guy takashi six nine Obviously through a Zoom call, though, yeah? No, no, he'll be coming to your house with ten bodyguards. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love that kid. I can't wait. I hate them. <laughs> he just tweeted on him. Guys. <laughs> All right. 24 hours from now, 6 9 we'll be sitting where you're sitting right now. <laughs> you're lying. Nah. For real? Yeah. What? Can I be here? Guest will be sitting there, and his name is 6 9 <laughs> and you know, there's another part to the puzzle too. You can sit in my chair because I'm not doing it. I'm what? not doing wow. the show, yeah. Mike, you have to, you have to. Then I can't be on the show with a rap, dude. Have you talked shit about him in the past? A lot. This motherfucker has deemed it cool to be a snitch. You know, deep down <laughs> in your heart, there's no way you're listening to that shit because you're like, yo, this is a hot song. Can you imagine telling Jay Z and Nas and Biggie that this was. Rap. How the garbage men are the people that run the rap that he comes on this show? I sit that episode out. Do you plan on, like, pressing him a little? Like, are you going to try to make him walk? I plan to just ask questions, but not loaded questions. Good. Asking questions. Why do you feel the need to talk shit and then run behind your bodyguards? Like, does that mean, how does that make you feel? <laughs> like, like, no, 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 no. Why? Can't I can't ask that question. There's one rule when it comes cool. to you, like, no matter what happens, you never say shit. I would say That's the only rule. It doesn't matter. Even if you, 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 you would. Bro, bro. bro. David, I'm going to say it this way. What? What you got? You get to sign up for the game. That's what I'm saying. The gang yeah. signed up for yeah. you. Yes, he can no. play. No. What? He's, he's out there. 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 He's out there.
Yes. Let's head there. Here we are. Yep, at Sydney High School. I to get the class, okay? We're going to see Sydney High School. Here we are. At Sydney High School. <gasps> I can't lose my teleport here because it's school, for fuck's sake. I can, but I have to make sure no one's walking, okay? No one's walking.
for it to be real. And that's real. Number seven. A YouTuber named Scaredy Cat thinks he saw a tall stranger rummaging around his property. So he goes into his house and grabs a phone to record with. He cautiously makes his way back to where he last spotted the intruder. And it isn't long before he finds him again. Actually, this time, it looks like Scaredy Cat is the one who is discovered instead of the other way around. So I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm going to try and capture it on tape now. Okay. <gasps> a humanoid creature appears to be staring directly at him while remaining completely motionless. You know, as a professional scared person myself, I will have to say that that sounded very realistic. His panic, his body's like, oh crap, we gotta run. Well, we gotta get as much air in us as possible so we can run. <laughs> very realistic. Scaredy Cat goes running down the street screaming for his life. His reaction sounds pretty genuine, but I'm not sure if this was a real sighting or not. It almost looks like a mannequin that someone could have put out there as a joke. No, but see, that's, that's what Slender Man does, though, man. He he just stand there. Mm. You know what I mean? And you don't, you don't even know. You don't even know. Maybe it could even be an impersonator running around pretending to be the real thing. It just doesn't seem to be the right height to be Slender Man. Though some legends say that the creature can change its height at will. Number six. This deer is eating some corn when it looks up as if something is approaching. The camera jumps ahead and barely manages to catch this strange fleeting movement on the right side of the screen. The shadowy figure has everyone talking about the possibility of Slenderman, who apparently has been rumored to be in this forest for years. It kind of looks like it might be wearing a business suit and has an all white head completely devoid of all features, but it's hard to tell for sure. Number. I look like a regular person to me. Five. A YouTuber named Frostbitten looks out his window one evening and sees what he thinks is Slenderman peering up at him from below. You can see it much better when he moves away from the screen door. Oh crap. Guess let's go across. Stuff will know. Okay, so my class should be here. Good morning, class. Today with a new student. Come up here, Jacob Murphy. Hey, my name is Jacob Murphy, and I was originally from New York, then I moved to California, and yes, I had to move here in it, to Sydney in Australia. So, yeah, basically, that's all I'm going to go sit down now. Course dismissed. Okay, so my next course it should be this way. Here we are, my third cross. My second cross. Good morning, students. Go, kids. Class dismissed. Sweet. Okay, 
to my wash cloth and to the break it here. Good morning students. Okay. Okay. Class dismissed. Have fun that break. Still filming Operation Save Yourself, my nigga. I do see what he's talking about, and so do some other viewers in the comments section. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like something with a pale head and long arms might be looking up at him. I can't really make out if it's wearing a suit or standing behind the tree. Then again, maybe this human like shape is simply light reflecting off of the woods. Let me know if you can see what Frostbitten is talking about, and if you agree with him or not. Number 4. Imagine going out for a relaxing day on the beach, and seeing this mysterious figure walking just a couple of miles away. tall man with a bright white head and all black clothes walks towards the water as if nothing is out of the ordinary. I will add that this area looks pretty lonely and there's really no reason for anybody to dress up like Slenderman as a prank here. It's too bad the person filming wasn't able to get any closer. The yeah, damn that. Nuh-uh. Uh, no. I could certainly respect their desire to keep as much space as possible. Number three, this surveillance footage looks like it was taken on an academic campus of some sort. The security camera is glitching out and skipping frames, which is supposed to be a clear indication that Slenderman is near. Look closely here and you can see a transparent figure in the upper left. Then, without warning, a tall figure is suddenly looming over a young boy. Slenderman yanks the boy high into the air by both arms and then the video quickly cuts off. I notice in the bottom right corner that this camera was marked. 
camera 01, but I wasn't able to find footage from any of the other cameras. If somebody recognizes this location, they may 